I'm really excited that Denver uh, might also have the chance to adopt approval voting like us in St. Louis. Uh, we as a good government group in St. Louis supported it because it builds more trust between elected officials uh, and constituents and helps give the winners of the elections a better mandate to lead. So after the 2017 mayor's race came the impetus for this change. Uh, frankly, many voters of color, many black voters specifically in St. Louis were very disappointed by the, uh, the race and you'll hear more about what happened later. So, so several volunteers launched a grassroots movement to reform the city elections. Now, originally it was going to be a campaign for ranked choice voting, since that's what most people had heard of or more people had heard of. Um, but then we vetted the proposal with local election administrators, uh, elected officials, organizers, and many national experts, including the Ranked Choice Voting Resource Center, Fair Vote, and the Center for Election Science. And ultimately we decided to switch from ranked choice voting to approval voting. Now, why did we do that? Um, there are four basic reasons. One was on policy. Approval voting, we felt, would offer a truer reflection of the electorate and therefore better representation of the community. When we pulled the policy near the beginning of the campaign, uh, the proposal for approval voting was especially popular among voters of color. Um, also on the policy, ranked choice voting um, based on the algorithm and how it works, didn't seem like it would be as appropriate or solve some of the vote splitting issues when you have three or more candidates running in an election, which in St. Louis, we often did have three or more viable candidates running. Uh, so approval voting seemed to make more sense for that and therefore gives more people a chance to, to run as well. When it comes to politics, um, some people thought approval voting would be easier for voters to understand than ranked choice voting. Um, so that uh, was one small piece as well. And then when it came to practicality and price, this was a huge differentiator. Uh, our local election administrators in St. Louis, as well as national organizations like the Ranked Choice Voting Resource Center helped us realize that um, ranked choice voting was gonna be a big pain to administer uh, and cost potentially millions of dollars to implement whereas approval voting would be easy and free to implement. Ultimately, personally, I think that both ranked choice voting and approval voting are improvements over the outdated model of plurality choose one elections. But when we had to pick between ranked choice voting and approval voting, uh, approval voting was for us the clearly superior choice on almost every count, policy, politics, price, and practicality. It boils down to the fact that elected officials need to have a mandate to lead if they wanna get things done for their community, whether that's in St. Louis or Denver or anywhere. So approval voting can help ensure that winners of elections have a strong mandate to lead and have the trust and support of their voters. So if you pass approval voting, I believe that you like us in St. Louis will find yourselves on the right side of history.